Hi everyone, welcome to Wiki channel. My name is Vivek and in this video we will be taking a look at the Canon ATD's live view functions. Uh, how to set the live view functions and what are the features that are available in the Canon ATD and how to uh, get it enhanced so that your picture quality might get better. So let's get started. At the first you want to, uh, when you switch on the camera, you, all you see is this intervalometer if you are enabled in the menu camera settings. So I will be doing another video about the menu settings. For now just we will look at the live functions available in the Canon ATD. So this interval of inter will basically gives you really good feedback like how your camera is placed. For example, if I tilt the camera towards left, it will show you that it uh, the camera is being tilted towards left and that red line indicates the same. Looking at the live view functions, uh, in order to enable it, you want to press the start stop button. Uh, then you are greeted with several different options besides. So pressing the info button will obviously change uh, those uh, things so pressing the info button for if you are seeing something like this when you press the start stop button that means uh, you have uh, actually changed some settings in the info button so pressing the info button will bring me back all the settings now that the intervalometer is always enabled and you have different options here uh, this q buttons basically uh, enables you to control or change every each and every settings for the live view function. So suppose if you are in uh, viewfinder setting, viewfinder mode, uh, then you will be having this physical button queue, then also you can actually change what you want to do with the camera when you are viewing through viewfinder. So for now we will be concentrating on the live view functions. So I'll go ahead and press the start stop button once again that you are created with the live view functions as I have mentioned. Uh, now in order to change any of these settings, all you need to do is press the Q button here. Since this is a test screen, it really works well, very well and it really is easy to uh, change anything you want uh, at the live movement. Then looking at the first function here, we have the autofocus method. So how you want to determine the autofocus for the camera system is what you have the option here. At the first we have uh, face plus uh, tracking that means uh, pressing this button will give you a selection window. So if this is my window then that will consider it as a subject and whenever you move it keeps tracking just like this. So. Uh, when I want to change the subject, I can actually press that and it will actually uh, keep tracking the same subject. So in order to capture the picture while tracking the subject, uh, all you need to do is half, half release the shutter button and it will actually show you if the uh, subject is in focus with the green box, then you go ahead and capture it and you are good to go. So next function here in the autofocus method, we have the autofocus multi-zone. That means several areas will be selected inside the square box uh, and those subject, those selected areas will be in focus. So if I press this as my subject, then it will take multi-selected area. Since this has got 45 cross type autofocus points, that means you have got a lot of room to select your subject in light mode. Those selected areas will be in focus. So if I press this as my subject, then it will take multi-selected area. Since this has got 45 cross type autofocus points, that means you have got a lot of room to select your subject in light mode. So it really works very well. So I can see that uh, in order to see that if this is actually properly in focus because sometimes even if you select the subject to be in focus, it doesn't work very well. Uh, at that times, uh, if you have some doubt, you can actually use this magnification button provided here which really works very well so magnifying pressing one time gives you one one x pressing another time gives you plus uh, uh, sorry multiplied by five that is five times the image you see with the uh, lens and uh, pressing once again will take you to the 10 x 10 times closer so the Im image is now 10 times closer and you can ensure if the image is stack sharp or not based on your aperture setting you have the amount of area uh, that is in focus. Uh, if you see the other side of the image, it isn't uh, in proper focus because of the aperture, smaller maximum aperture uh, area that I have selected. So the value 5.6 means that this much of area will be in focus. So I'll go ahead and press the same magnification button again to come back to the live view. 
So right now I can see that this area is in focus then I'll go ahead and press the shutter button to take the picture. Next focus method we have is the autofocus single method. Uh, this is a very uh, very reliable and actually quite works very well. Single autofocus zone that is where you point and that particular subject will be in focus. But one critical thing you need to bear in mind uh, just like any other autofocus setting is that uh, suppose if I have selected this as my uh, focusing image then what happens sometimes is you if you have got more than one subject or some uh, foreground and uh, background different uh, subjects uh, one behind the other what happens is sometimes it may the back side of the image might get be in focus and not the front side of the image for example the uh, small twigs the small branches you see here uh, you have several different branches out there and some of them may be in focus and some wouldn't be in focus so what you want to cross check is uh, again magnifying the image and uh, right now you will see what I mean so suppose in case if you find that this image is still not in focus what you can do is in autofocus single mode only if this works so you can half press the shutter while in zoom magnified then you can cross check if this is uh, if this is what you want to be in focus uh, so once you are confirmed that the subject is in focus uh, just go ahead and click on the image right there and your picture is ready now if if we look at uh, while zooming the picture you can see that the image is absolutely tag sharp where i have uh, kept my focusing area so it is really sharp next auto focusing method is over next is the one shot and servo mode this is the auto focusing operation so one shot as the name suggests just point the fo point at the image where you want to be focused then half press the shutter release button to ensure that the image is in focus then just press to capture the image and if you want continuous auto focus what you want to do is to change the one shot to servo mode changing it to servo mode will actually activate the tracking method so if i select this as my subject so a half pressing holding half red shutter release button uh, will take me to continuous area so it keeps on focusing uh, whenever i change the subject see changing the subject will bring the focus back so now this is in focus if i hold on and keep this will be in focus so changing the focus now that this is in focus now this is in focus so this is continuous focus mode which is called the servo mode uh, so if whenever you have subjects like moving uh, or face tracking and such you can actually keep it in servo mode this is also really really helpful in if you're ta taking video so in video mode this really works very well as you know ATD is famous for the video settings ease of use so moving on we have another setting that is the drive mode wherein uh, it determines how fast you want to capture the images if you want to capture several images uh, at a various speed then you have high speed continuous uh, high speed continuous uh, shoot pr speed priority that is high speed continuous burst rate and you have low speed tracking priority which gives tracking priority because if you select the servo operation and or the tracking autofocus tracking option uh, which I have shown, shown earlier in here in the autofocus method so it will ensure your proper setting uh, every time you capture the images and you have the remote mode or the 10 second self timer and uh, 2 second self timer is also available so if you have external remote connected just press that button and it will capture automatically up after 2 seconds if you have selected 2 seconds after 10 seconds you have selected 10 seconds then moving on we have the metering method so various metering modes are available this is the evaluative metering basically you are allowing the camera to evaluate what the subject is and uh, to meter it so evaluative metering for example now that the bright uh, the background is really bright and the foreground the subject is tag sharp what it will do is it will meter this this much of area and think that this is the subject and gives you in focus so if i change that metering mode to partial metering that means you are forcefully enabling it uh, to the partially meter the subject for a, if i select this area then this of this much area will be partially be metered that means it will be in focus and selecting the spot metering this is real helpful when you are capturing closer subjects such as closer subjects such as the macro subjects or flowers foliage 
that times you want to ensure that you select spot metering when moving on center weight average as the name suggests uh, whatever the selected area it takes at some distance consider some distance from the selected area and considers uh, it to be in focus that is the center weight uh, metering then moving on we have the uh, image quality settings uh, you have raw settings you have jpeg settings and in raw you have several other features like medium raw files if you want to enable small raw uh, for dub this setting is not enabled because i have uh, set servo as the autofocus operation selecting one shot will enable uh, uh, different raw image quality settings see now that these are enabled properly so raw images have uh, three types and selecting this negative sign or hyphen or line will uh, disable the raw selection that means if you don't want to capture raw then just select this and you're good to go if you want to select large jpeg you have 24 megapixel full resolution large jpeg and in that you have fine image quality and sharp image quality so depending on your situation you can select that the file size will vary that is why they have got two different image selections here size quality and you have medium size that means it is going to catch 11 megapixel uh, image uh, with the high sharp image and with the fine details uh, what this means is actually the corners of the subject you are going to determine how the corner of the subject will look like so selecting the uh, step type will make give you less uh, size will produce less image uh, size and uh, will have uh, a little detail in it so you have several different options small size uh, s2 s3 starting from 0 0.3 megapixel all the way up to 24 megapixels though small size will be really helpful if you are uh, transferring your images to smartphone really quickly and you want to share with your friends then moving on we have the auto white, auto white balance priority mode uh, where you can select various auto white balance pictures you have the picture style and you have the auto light uh, lighting optimizer so uh, looking at the picture style there are various different options available to choose from this is where you can really enhance your camera make your camera to shine from others because this uh, basically gives you the ability to determine how you want to produce your image if you want to, sharpness to be the priority you can actually set the sharpness amount of sharpness you want in the image you can also set this uh, saturation you can also set the contrast you can also set the um, threshold the fineness the details the contrast the skin tone the white balance everything can be set in the picture style uh, changing the standard you have the flat profile as well so less saturated and will be really helpful if you're uh, capturing a raw image in flat so that will basically ensure you greater dynamic range than other settings uh, i have uh, three different modes for customization as well you got one two three so if you are capturing video you can select keep the uh, settings at one if you are capturing some landscape you can keep the settings at two that way it will be in memory and every time you don't have to fiddle around looking at the auto light optimizer uh, these are nothing but uh, it actually determines how the light how the shadow and the highlights are and based on that the brightness and the contrast of the image will be changed and uh, these are the cre creative filters inbuilt into the camera which is really nice uh, in certain situations it is really good you got the soft focus if you have something uh, that you want to be in soft focus that you want to look soft then you can capture and you can actually set how much soft uh, focus you want to do to the, your subject and you have the grainy black and white you have the fisheye effect you got the art pole effect this is really cool when capturing certain subjects uh, maybe some of the landscape photography if you are doing uh, it will keep you really saturated and fine detailed image you also have the water painting effect which is very funny and sometimes it really uh, does enable you to capture really good image so because i had selected the high drive function to add 10 seconds then after 10 seconds it will capture the image just like that so there you have it the water effect image i think you can see it in here okay good then moving on we what do we have here is the uh, okay some 
after the water painting effect you have toy camera effect you have the miniature effect built inside the camera and you can literally off it switch off so these are the various features that you got to be remember remember every time you take picture that way uh, it will really help you take better image quality so that's it for this video guys see you in another video where i will do a series about how to set menu functions uh, how to optimize menu settings to and how i have optimized menu settings to basically get proper images every time till then see you bye bye